Hi everyone! Today we're going to look at solving initial value problem using numerical methods. Okay, so this is our main uh, topic that um, we want to solve. So, um, initial value problem is given by y prime equals to f of x y okay we are looking at first order okay first order initial um, first order differential equation so these are the initial condition so your x naught and your y naught here so y prime is the differentiation of dy dx okay and this is true if the function is continuous function it can be can be differentiable okay so um, there are many ways to solve this but uh, we're gonna look at um, Euler method okay Euler method is a one step of order one so Euler method to solve initial value problem So Euler method is given by yi equals to yi minus y plus h f of xi minus 1 yi minus 1. Okay, the Euler method can be derived by Taylor series expansion of order 1. Okay, so um, f here f here okay depends on what's the given function okay this is this is f given for this y prime equals to f okay um h is the step size so h is your step size so what happens here so i have a value initial from y not and I want to get to y i. So in between can be big y. Okay, but um, this is the length h. H length here. Okay, we h is um the initial x naught. So x naught plus i h that's my x i x i okay so I have my x naught here this is the place I want to go x i and x i can be obtained by x naught plus i h now this y that we want to find using Euler method, y naught is given. Okay, so if you understand this, let's look at one example on how you can use Euler method to solve a particular problem. Okay, so consider this um, first order. Differential um, equation given by y1 prime equals to y2 plus x y2 prime equals to y1 y2 and the initial condition given as y2 equals to 1 2 with h Okay, now what we want to do, we want to apply two steps of Euler method okay before doing anything I would encourage you to sketch so this is this is this is why not say two step why not and we want to find y1 and we want to reach y2 okay 
the x naught here, this is my x naught. Okay, these are the starting values for y1 and y2. Okay, so now this is my x naught. 2 here. Well, um, we don't know. We don't know what is this. But we know i equals to 2. So xi equals to x naught plus ih. Okay, so xi here, x2. Okay, so this is my x2. So x naught, x1, and x2. What is my x naught? Start with 2. Plus i is 2, h is 0.1. So, we want to find the solution at x equals to 2 plus 0 0.2, which is 2.2. Okay, so this is my h. First h is 0 0.1 and the second h is 0 0.1. The h increased by 0 0.1 but from y0 to y2 you need 0 0.2 step size. Okay, so once you have this information, you can use Euler method starting from i equals to 1 and i equals to 2. Okay, so the Euler method is given by y i equals to y i minus 1 plus h f of x i minus 1 y i minus 1 okay so first start with um, i equals to 1 for i equals to 1 we have y1, we want to find this y1 first y0 1 minus 1 is 0 h f of x0 y0 ok so remember my y0 here have two values which is my starting value for y1 and starting value for y2 so 1 and 2 ok so remember this should be this should be a transpose here. This should be a column. Column vector. So I have um why not? One, two plus h is zero point one. Now F here, okay, this is this is gonna be my big function. So F here is given by a two-dimensional first order which is y2 plus x y1 y2 so we have y2 plus x y1 y2 so I should I can put the value here okay so x naught x here refer to my x naught and y naught here you have the starting value 1 and 2 from this is my y1 this is my y2 uh, this is my y1 this is my y2 okay so we have 1 2 plus 0 0.1 y2 2 plus x x naught is 2 2 and then y1 is 1 y2 is 2 so 1 2 okay so I have 0 0.1 this one will be 4 2 okay don't forget I have to multiply with 0 0.1 so that gives me plus 0 0.4 0 0.2 okay so we have obtained the first 
value for y1. So 1 plus 0 0.4 is 1.4. You can give your answer to four decimal places. And 2 plus 0 0.2 is 2.2. Okay, so we have obtained y1. Now, okay, now continue finding for i equals to 2. y2 equals to y1 plus h of f x1 y1. Okay, so this is the Euler method, but now for second iteration. So y1 is this value here. This is my y1. Okay, now what is x1? So if you look at our um, sketch earlier on, this is my x1. Okay, this, this point here is my x1. And x1 is given by x0 plus 0 0.1. So 2.1 is my x1. So you have x0 2 plus 0 0.1, 2.1 plus 0 0.1, you have 2.2 and you stop your iteration when you reach 2.2 okay so having that information we can plug it in so my y1 is 1.4 2.2 this is the one we obtained earlier on plus 0 0.1 now f here we have um, y2 plus x1 and then here we have y1, y2, y1, y2. Okay, so don't get confused between this y2. Is it should be this is the this is the second dimension. The second dimension. The y2 here refer to the first iteration. Okay, so don't get confused. So and y2 here refer to the first iteration so i have 1.4 2.2 plus 0 0.1 y2 of the first iteration is this one 2.2 plus y1 of the first iteration which is 2.1 now y1 times y2 so this times this 2.2 times 1.4 Okay, now simplifying the calculation, we have 1.4, 2.2, plus 0 0.1, 2.2, plus 2.1, we have 4.3, okay, 2.2 times 1.4, we have 3.08. Okay, now multiply with 0 0.1, we have plus 0 0.43 and 0 0.308. Adding with the 1.4 and 1.2, so this plus this will give you... 1.83 and 2.5080 okay so this is the second approximation so you can say that the solution to this problem okay the solution to this problem y1 prime equals to y2 plus x and y2 prime equals to y1 y2 is given as 1.8300 okay remember if you use to solve this analytically approach your answer might be close to but not accurate because we have just times two iteration the more iteration to do the more closer the solution will be to the is that solution but we're going to look at the next video on how you can find the error 
Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.